Yo! So, in the mail today, guess guess what I got? Guess, just guess, guess. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a second. Okay, you can't guess, which isn't a good thing, but. I got the boys. I got the boys in the mail. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, because they're so, they're just, mm, they're ruining my life. I used to be B1A4 biased. Now look what happened. Look, look, look. But, so, I got, I got, I got the seek version of the 17 Boys B. Um, I think this is a mini album because they only have five songs. Yeah, it's a second mini, it's a second mini album. I guess the first one would be Adore You. But since I had got it from K-pop, I think it was K-pop Town. Or K-Town. Yeah, that sounds right. Since I got it from K-Town, um, I have a lot of little, like, photo cards of the boys. Right? What I'm kind of disappointed about, though is that there's no really individual shot of them. Like, I love them as a whole. I love them so much, but I'm just kind of like, I want them, I want to see them as individuals. Since it's such a small card, you can't really, like, you can't really get good details on the face since the card is so small. But, I'm not complaining because they're, they're 17. 17 cards. Um, so this is what you first see when you open up the album. You're like, hey, hey, that, that was a teaser photo right there. Only it had, had the letters, but it was a teaser photo. And to that, I would say, <laughs> yes, and doodle deedle it is. This would be your photo booklet for all things 17. You know, just your, your beautiful... Beautiful needs. This allows you to do all of it. You can stare lovingly at Jong Han's face. You can caress Scoops' cheek. You can, well, not, not really, but if you want to, you can kiss Woozy's forehead. Sure, why not? But most important thing here is the photo card. No. Remember at the beginning how I said that I'll, I'll, I'll give you a moment to guess what I got in the mail? If you got that right, you get a brownie point in my book. You get another one if you can guess who my photo card is of. Now, personally, because I haven't really... I know I'm bad, um, but like, I haven't gotten to the, to the depth where I can tell their handwriting apart. But I can tell their pictures apart. And, just, yeah, yeah, I will say no more about that, that is that, and that will stay that. Continuing on with the photo book, they have this really cute thing at the end of it, which I can't read because it's all in Korean and I'm sad, but it's like a little diary thing. Where they just write stuff in Korean, which I can't read, and I'm upset about, because I can't read, but it's really adorable. And at the end they have a little collage, a little collage, and it's really, and then they have, they have the lyrics, yeah we got the lyrics, just wanted to make sure. We have the lyrics to them, which again, can't read, because I don't know Korean. Just a bummer. I really wish I did. But the next thing that we have, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll skip that for now. So I'll save that to like the second end. You know, give you something to look forward to to keep you watching. So next, we have what I really, really, really am digging, which is postcards. Now I know what you're thinking, Aaron. You're telling me why in the world would you ever want to send a postcard that looks like that? That looks like that. That looks like that. If you have a sister 
who's gone to college or a leader who's gone to college, they might want something written on the back of that. Or perhaps if you're like us and you know you came up with like the the hand thing first, right? Look look at that. Look. Seventeen copied us. They copied no. <sighs> seventeen, seventeen. But no, I'll see I'll see I'll save that for later. I'll I'll, I'll save I'll save that for later. I got you. I got you. But I ended up getting the folded poster. And I'm really glad that I got the folded one instead of the unfolded one. I have no clue what the unfolded one would have been. But here's the folded one. And I think that this, even though it's kind of collage-y and kind of, like, messy, like, it looks kind of home done, I think that's part of the appeal of it. I think it's very adorable. Um, and I, I'd describe it as a, uh, a treasure map to the booty. Now let me explain. You see, you have, uh, you have to travel above the land of 17, see, there's the land of 17. You must travel above the land of 17 to get to the treasure that's right below the Vernunu, but right above the small grown man. There's the tricky part. And then we have probably my favorite thing that's come with this album. Stickers. They came with stickers, guys. They came with stickers. Look, 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 look. They're stickers. I could take them off. I could put them right on my face and walk around at school and be like, yeah, I, I got the album. What you gonna do about it? But I won't because... If you've known me long enough, you know that I never really use any of it because it's too precious. It's too precious. So now we've come to the end, but not before the CD. So we have the front of the little like CD sleeve thing. And since on the bottom, Seek is italicized, like it was on the actual album itself, I'm going to assume that the hide version, the sleeve is also pink there. And on the back we have a little ellipses with one more period than they're supposed to be. 17. Ugh. Supposed to be, there's only supposed to be three. I digress. And then the CD. It's a CD. It's very beautiful. And again, since the seek right down here is italicized, or... No, I think it's bolded. I think that's the word for it. Since it's bold, I think also the uh, the hide version is also going to have like pink writing on it. Um, so overall, I think that the entirety of the album is very, very gorgeous. I think that having two different versions of the same album is a really good way to make money, especially if the group's just starting out like Seventeen is. Um, it's a great idea because then you can go out with your boyfriend and girlfriend. You know what you can do? You guys can get couple... You guys can get couple albums. Do you know how much I want this? Couple albums. But... And so yeah, there, that was my Boys Be Seventeen... Seek version. I'm sorry, I can't remember that for the life of me. But, yeah. So there's my review on, you know, we have the little track list, and it's beautiful. And they're wrecking my bias list. So, I'm very disappointed that no one from the North America rounds of the cover dance competition got passed. However, I will say that I will link our dance video in the, in the description in case anyone still wants to watch it. Um, we also have it uploaded, we, ha we also have it uploaded to our YouTube channel, so just go over there, copy the link, send it to all your friends, even though we're not in the competition, we still want, like, people to know about us for when we join it next year. Oh, we probably will, with Mansay. Or the new Seventeen song. What do you guys think it's gonna be? Like, honestly? It'd be interesting if they did a band concept, kind of like A-Way.
uh, they'll come out with it. So check out our our scene leaders Bea's vlogs over at college, and we also have Nicole's stuff that's on the channel too. So go and check them out because they're awesome people and they're adorable, and just go and check them out. So we'll see you guys later. If I can actually stop the video. <laughs>